Hello, Darren, Jay, and the rest of the Belsito plumbing crew. <laughs> this is Brianna from Chipmunk SEO reaching out with the video I promised Tom I would send you guys. Um, in this video, I'm going to take less than 10 minutes just to give you three quick tips on ways to optimize your website so that more customers can find you online and you guys can increase your revenue. The first thing I'm going to cover here is content. Um, for Google, con uh, the content is king. Google likes to see a minimum of 1500 words on the home page and then on your back service pages you want a minimum of 500 okay and that's each page two big reasons for this first one is Google is going to rank you better if they believe you're an expert and they judge that based on how much you talk about your service if you don't have much to say you look more like spam and that's not what we want the second reason is because the more content you have on your page, the more keywords you can have, and that means the more searches you're going to show up for in Google. Um, it is 100 words of content for every one keyword. Keep that in mind. I'm going to show you a keyword over here of Phoenix Plumber. I know you guys have different service areas. This is just a snapshot so you guys can get an idea of what it means to have an optimized website and the potential that's in there for you, for your revenue, if you guys implement these steps. So first thing that shows up is Google Ads. Nix those. We don't care. <laughs> People use ad blocker. You don't want to waste your money on them. This is the Google Map Pack pulling me into the second process that I wanted to talk about today. Um, if you have the Google My Business set up, great. If not, get on it because you want to have it optimized for you guys. Um, you want to make sure your contact information is accurate. You want to add your photos and then you need something called citations. Citations are like online directories such as Yelp, Yellow Pages, White Pages, etc. Um, you want to have your contact information on as many of those directories as you can. That's going to help boost you up here. Uh, you want to be in the first three positions. Nobody clicks view all and that's just a quick way to get ranking on the first page page of Google okay then we go down here to the organic search results the first company that comes up is Diamondback Roofing they are Diamondback Plumbing I don't know why I keep saying roofing <laughs> they have the first position for that keyword of Phoenix Plumber so we're actually gonna go check out their page here I'm gonna use them as your competitor for the remainder of this video just because of that position they came up on so we can see how much content they've got on their home page um, and then I want to show you a tool I use for my clients. I have your website pulled up right now. This is how I actually assist my clients with getting their websites ranking. Uh, you can see here you actually have an unequal rating for your UR and DR. This is about the strength of your website and the strength of your backlinks. Okay, so if you have spam style backlinks or very low quality backlinks, you're going to have a poor rating. Um, not all backlinks are created equal, so you want to make sure you are only linking your website with other websites that are relevant to your industry okay out of your 104 websites that are backlinking to you guys 3,000 times um, only 56 of them have links that the customers can actually click on to be redirected to your website okay um, you have 70 keywords you're actually losing ranking on your keywords here and that might you know we can take a look at that that could be because of those spam backlinks that you guys have so here's a good news Belsito plumbing is being searched 150 times and you guys are in the first position that's what I like to see um, out of those 150 searches you're getting clicked on 19 times and let's go ahead and see some that are a little lower so plumber Scottsdale Arizona has 200 searches a month and you guys are not on the first page of Google so you're really not getting any traffic from that at all whatsoever um, this is why it's important to really think about the keywords you think your customers may be using it's great that you have your name out there for yourselves but think about all the customers that may not know about you that are going to be searching plumber in their area or plumbing in their area you want to start getting higher ranking for those so you can get that traffic going to your page instead um, just like your competitor had done all right so we're ending up with an organic traffic of about 32 from all these numbers keep an eye on this right here because I'm gonna switch over to your competitors here all right so they actually have less backlinks than you they may just be more authoritative than the ones that you have they also have their ratings not equilibrium of that one-to-one -one we talked about they have 222 websites that are referencing them as well. Um, there are 3,000 keywords your competitors ranking on. We know they're number one for Phoenix Plumber. 
and then their organic traffic's over a thousand. So that shows you the potential of being high ranking on different search terms and what that means for you. So Plumber Phoenix is getting searched 500 times and your competitor is in the first position, as we know. They're getting 87 people clicking on their site for that. So we know these people are looking for a plumber in the area. They're finding a plumber in the area and they're clicking on the plumber in the area. And we want that plumber to be you guys. So my three recommendations from everything we talked about, go through, add some more content to your website. You need a lot more content. Um, get some more keywords ranking. Get yourselves some better quality backlinks and clean out the spammy ones. And I would also go back in and look at your competitor and find out what they're doing right and take those really high authoritative good backlinks that they have and add them one by one to your website. That's the best method of attack. Um, and then you also want to make sure you have those citations set up for that Google My Business if you haven't yet. And that's kind of it. That's all I've got to cover for you. If you implement those steps, you guys are going to be seeing your traffic grow a lot from, you know, the 32 to closer to the 1,000, 2,000 that your competitors are pulling in. Uh, if you have questions on how to implement those steps, just reach out. I'll answer any questions you got. I also will be following up with you guys because these videos take time to make and I need the feedback to know if I'm doing them the best way I can. Um, I need to know that they're valuable because of how much time it takes me to send them and make them for you guys to watch them. I don't want to waste anybody's time. I need to know if I'm giving value to all these businesses uh, before I <laughs> go out and just dig myself a big hole. So thank you so much for letting me send this video, Tom, and thank you guys for watching it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I look forward to checking back in with you guys tomorrow.